One of the most common questions I get is what is a good computer to run your bot on? Or what computer do you use? I thought today would be a good time to talk about this because I built a new computer and it's way better than the one I currently have right now. And to tell you the truth, it's not gonna make a difference really. So to answer the question, what would be a good computer for botting? The short answer is it doesn't really matter because when you're running a bot, you want to run your bot on a server in like 90 to 95 percent of cases the server is going to be the one to take the workload of your bots not your computer so all your computer needs to be able to do is make that remote desktop connection in order for you to connect to your server and from there your server will be using its resources in order for it to run your bot not your computer the only thing your computer is doing is connecting to the server so that being said i'd imagine you'd be able to run bots from a dinky like old computer speaking of servers a lot of people ask me which ones i use so might as well get that out of the way right now the one that i use is from 10x servers i use the 8 core cpu and 8 gig memory along with a 1 gigabit port speed my other server is from oculus servers that's my virginia server and if you're interested in getting a server from 10x servers then you can use my discount code botterboynova to get a pretty hefty discount however if you're a beginner i don't personally recommend that you go straight to a paid server I would recommend for you to practice using Google Cloud servers I will make a separate in-depth video for servers at a later time but right now we're going to be talking about computers since most of the time that you're going to be running your bots you're going to be running it on servers your specifications don't really matter but here is what I recommend I would say at the very, very least, your computer should include a quad-core CPU and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Your storage doesn't really matter all that much. Most computers today come with 128 gigabytes of SSD, and that's more than plenty enough if all you're planning to do is bot on it. But these are the bare minimum specifications. For those rare cases where you want to bot using your own computer and not a server, you'd still be able to do some light botting on a machine like this. But my true recommendation would be to get at least a quad core CPU with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. So on a machine like this, I think it would be good enough to run bots for when you do want to run it on your own computer. Now, when do you want to run it on your own computer? I usually do it for instances where I don't take the drop too seriously or I don't take the bot that seriously for a particular drop. So for example, if I'm running two different servers, I might run an extra one on my own computer just for the heck of it. Just because I have a bot that's not doing anything and just because I don't want to waste that resource. And the most popular use for botting from your own computer is from Supreme. Because Supreme mostly bans data center proxies, they mostly ban data center servers. So that means you are forced to run residential proxies. And in most cases, residential proxies are very slow. However, there are ways to optimize your speeds when it comes to residential proxies, such as choosing a really good server in a really good location for your server. My recommendation is to run Supreme from your house, especially if you don't want to take your chances with proxies. So we got that out of the way, which is basically when do you want to run bots from your own computer, which is mostly Supreme. And another one is when you are running scripts, such as Frenzy scripts or sneakers pass scripts, then you do want to run that from your own computer. So what are some other things to look out for? In addition to the previous specifications that I gave out earlier, which is a quad core processor and eight gigabytes of RAM, you want to make sure that your display supports 1920 by 1080p resolution. If you are going to be running from a server, most servers, this is their default resolution. So what's going to end up happening is if your display is 
any smaller than that when you connect to the server you're going to have to like scroll up and down just to see your bots just to see your workspace and that can be super annoying so that's one thing I recommend, at least a 1920 by 1080 p resolution. So if you're buying a laptop, make sure the display supports it. If you're buying a monitor, make sure your monitor supports that resolution. Does it matter when it comes to Mac or Windows? Well, yes, it does. Most bots aren't compatible with Mac. Most of them are compatible with Windows 7 and Windows 10. Uh, I'm still using Windows 7 on my old machine. I got Windows 10 running on my new machine, but most computers should come with Windows 10 right off the bat. And if you're building a new computer, I would suggest you get Windows 10 because some bots are no longer supporting Windows 7 such as Cyber and Soul AIO. So just stick with the Windows 10 just to be sure. If you have a Mac, most likely you would have to do all your botting operations from servers. However, some bots do support Mac. The ones that I can think of right now is Nike Shoebot and Project Destroyer. Those two support Mac. Another recommendation that I have when it comes to hardware, which I think will make a positive impact on your botting abilities, is multiple monitors. Having multiple monitors allows you to have a much bigger workspace. So for example, if you're deciding to run more than one bot, then you can have maybe one bot on one monitor and another bot on another monitor. Or if you only have one bot and you want to bot and manual at the same time, then you'd be able to do that with multiple monitors. When you're botting, you do need to look at your capture solvers, you need to pay attention to that. And if you have that minimized because you're trying to check out manual, then most likely you're gonna miss it and then you're just gonna take an L on the release. That could have been a W on the bot had you had it open. These monitors aren't actually very expensive. I get the vast majority of my monitors secondhand from eBay. All you need to do is I would recommend 1920 by 1080 p display and make sure that your computer supports the interface. Just check to see what adapters support your machine make sure the monitor that you're buying supports that adapter and then buy the cable so i got my monitors for around 60 to 70 dollars it's not that expensive at all i actually made a mistake building my computer because i didn't consider what ports support the graphics card for my current setup i'm using two dvi connections and a vga connection when i built my new computer it turns out that none of my components support neither vga or dvi so now i have to go out there and buy display ports in fact i'm not even sure if i'd be able to connect it to my other monitors i know i'll be able to connect it to my main monitor at least but for my other ones i'm not even sure yet so I'll still have to figure that out. So I made a mistake telling you about it. Learn from my mistake. All that being said, to be honest with you, your computer specifications isn't the main determining factor on whether or not your rig is equipped for botting. Right now I'm talking about botting from your own computer. What's even more important than your computer specifications is your geographic location and your internet speed. For example, let's say you're trying to bot Shopify all the way from California. It's unlikely that you're going to get any Ws because you're just so far away from the location of the servers. The location of the Shopify servers are on the East Coast. And so if you're trying to bot from California, from your home network, even if you have a lightning fast internet connection, it's not looking good for you. Another scenario is if you have really, really slow internet, you might as well not even try to bother botting from your home network. Most of the time you don't want to bot from your home network anyway other than the exceptions that I've spoken about before. Unless you live on the upper part of the east coast and you've got like a 1 gigabit per second connection speed somehow from your home network which is highly unlikely. I only know like one or two people who have access to this kind of internet speed and yeah that doesn't apply to like 99% of us. So what would I consider to be a decent setup for botting from your home network? I would say at least 150 to 200 gigabits per second internet speed and hopefully that's with a case of you living on the east coast. If you're living somewhere on the west coast, I would say you would need faster internet speed in order for you to compensate for that. However, I wouldn't be able to give you any numbers because I don't have any experience with that. Now, if you're not from the US at all, then 
I would say you would have a much harder time botting Shopify websites because the Shopify servers are located in an entirely different country which makes it much more difficult. However, if you're botting Supreme from your respective country, so for example, if you're botting Supreme EU, I don't know exactly where the European Supreme servers are located, but if you use your home network and you have at least 150 to 200 megabit per second internet speed, and you're from Europe, I would say you should be fine. However, when it comes to botting absolutely anything else, my recommendation is to use a server. The internet speed and geographic location of servers for most websites that you would normally bot is nearly infinitely better than what you have going on with your home network in most cases. That's about it for the video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.